In this lesson, we're going to add and subtract rational expressions with unlike denominators. So let's start with this example. 5 over x plus 3 divided by x squared. Now, before we can combine the two fractions, we need to get common denominators. So we need to multiply the first fraction on the left by x over x so that the denominators will both be x squared. So this is 5x over x squared plus 3 divided by x squared. So now we can write this as a single fraction, 5x plus 3 over x squared. So that's going to be the answer. Let's try another example. x minus 3 divided by 4 minus x plus 2 divided by 3. So we need to get common denominators. The least common multiple of 4 and 3 is 12. If you're not sure, just multiply 4 and 3. Any multiple of 4 and 3 will work. You may have to simplify it later, but it can help you get the right answer. Let's multiply the first fraction by 3 and the second one by 4. Now let's distribute 3 to x minus 3. So it's going to be 3x minus 9, and 3 times 4 is 12. Now let's distribute 4 to x plus 2. So that's going to be 4x plus 8. And keep in mind, this negative sign needs to be distributed to the 4x and the 8. So now let's write it as a single fraction. So we have 3x minus 9, and if we distribute the negative sign, it's going to be negative 4x minus 8. So 3x minus 4x is negative x. Negative 9 minus 8 is negative 17. So if we want to, we can take out a negative sign. So negative 1, and then it's going to be x plus 17 over 12. So we can write the final answer as negative x plus 17 over 12. So this negative sign, you can put it here if you want to. So this is the answer. Now let's move on to our third example. 4 divided by x minus 2 plus 5 over x plus 2. So we need to get common denominators. We need to multiply this fraction by this denominator and the fraction on the right by the other denominator. So let's put x plus 2 on top and on the bottom here. And for this one, we're going to multiply it by x minus 2, top and bottom. So let's distribute 4 to x plus 2. So it's going to be 4x plus 8. And let's go ahead and FOIL x minus 2 times x plus 2, which we can see that it's x squared minus 4, which is less to write than x minus 2 than times x plus 2. Now let's distribute 5 to x minus 2. It's going to be 5x minus 10. Now that we have the same denominator, we can add the numerators. 4x plus 5x is 9x. 8 plus negative 10 is negative 2. So this is the answer. And if we want to, we can write it like this in its uh, complete factored form. And so that's it for this problem. Here's another one that you could try x divided by x squared plus 9x plus 20 minus 4 over x squared plus 7x plus 12. Now, before we can get common denominators, we should factor completely. So what two numbers multiply to 20 but add to 9? This is going to be 4 and 5. 4 plus 5 is 9. 4 times 5 is 20. Now what two numbers multiply to 12 but add to 7? This is going to be positive 3 and positive 4. So now we need to get common denominators. Both fractions have an x plus 4, so we don't have to worry about it. The fraction on the right does not have an x plus 5, so we need to multiply top and bottom by x plus 5. The fraction on the left does not have x plus 3. So we need to multiply top and bottom 
by x plus 3. Now notice that both fractions have the same denominator, x plus 3, x plus 4, and x plus 5. So we can now write it as a single fraction. So let's distribute x and x plus 3. That's going to be x squared plus 3x. Now 4 times x plus 5 is 4x plus 20, but let's incorporate the negative sign. So it's going to be negative 4x minus 20. Now let's combine like terms. 3x minus 4x is negative x. And so this is what we currently have. Now, is there anything else that we can do at this point? Can we factor x squared minus x minus 20? What two numbers multiply to negative 20 but add to negative 1? This is negative 5 and plus 4. Negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1, but they multiply to negative 20. So we can factor as x minus 5 times x plus 4. So notice that we can cancel x plus 4. Therefore, the final answer is x minus 5 divided by x plus 3 times x plus 5. So that's the solution to this problem. Let's work on this example. x squared over x minus 4 plus 7 over 4 minus x. Let's add these two rational expressions. So what we need to do is get common denominators, but we don't need to multiply or divide by anything. We do need to factor out a negative 1. If we take out negative 1, negative x will become positive x, and positive 4 will become negative 4. Now this negative we can move to the top. So we can rewrite it as negative 7, or just minus 7, over x minus 4. So now we can combine the two fractions. This is going to be x squared minus 7 over x minus 4. And that's the answer. Now let's try one last example. 5 divided by x plus 2 plus 2 divided by x plus 1 minus 3 over x minus 1. So we need to multiply the first fraction by the other two denominators. So that's going to be x plus 1 times x minus 1. Now we need to multiply the second fraction by the other two denominators. So that is uh, x plus 2 times x minus 1, top and bottom. The last fraction, we're going to multiply by x plus 2 and x plus 1. Now notice that we're going to have the same denominator. which is going to be x plus 2 times x plus 1 times x minus 1. So we're going to combine everything into a single fraction. So here we have 5 times x plus 1 and x minus 1. If we FOIL x plus 1 times x minus 1, it's going to be x squared minus 1. And then if we FOIL x plus 2 times x minus 1, it's going to be uh, x squared plus x minus 2. Now let's FOIL x plus 2 times x plus 1. That's going to give you x squared plus 3x plus 2. So now let's distribute 5 to x squared minus 1. That's going to be 5x squared minus 5. 
And now let's distribute the 2. So it's going to be plus 2x squared plus 2x minus 4. And let's do the same for the last one. It's going to be a negative 3x squared minus 9x minus 6. All divided by the common denominator. Now let's clear away a few stuff. So now what we need to do is combine like terms. 5 plus 2 is 7, and 7 minus 3 is 4. So we're going to have 4x squared. Now 2x minus 9x, that's going to be negative 7x. And then we have uh, negative 5 minus 4, which is negative 9, minus 6, that's going to be negative 15, divided by this stuff. So can we factor 4x squared minus 7x minus 15? What would you say? Well, let's find out. 4 times negative 15 is negative 60. What two numbers multiply to negative 60 but add to negative 7? So 1 and 60 won't work. 2 and 30, they're too far apart. 3 and 20, not going to work either. There's 4 and negative 15. 5 and 12, that could work. 5 times negative 12 is negative 60, but 5 plus negative 12 adds up to negative 7. So let's replace negative 7x with negative 12x plus 5x. Now let's factor by grouping. So let's take out the GCF from the first two terms, which is 4x. 4x squared divided by 4x is x. Negative 12x divided by 4x is negative 3. And now the GCF in the last two is 5. Inside the first parentheses, it's going to be x minus 3. And then inside the second one, we're going to have the stuff on the outside, 4x plus 5. Divided by x plus 2 times x plus 1 times x minus 1. So there's really nothing we can cancel. So this is the answer in its complete factored form. There's nothing else that we can do. And so that's it for this lesson.